Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about the way you treat yourself because many times, frequently, so for some people, they get down on, your se on themselves. They criticize harshly their conduct, their way of being, their behavior. So I'm going to tell you how the soul sees this situation and a higher perspective, a broader perspective on this. So I'm Eugenio, welcome to my channel. And one of the ways that we beat up on yourselves is through court chores. Many times we blame ourselves or go down on ourselves because we didn't accomplish the whole agenda, the to-do list. And if, if we, even we, when we are procrastinating, we feel bad that we we are not acting on our passion or what we need to do. So there's a whole a whole stress about it, resistance. So don't blame yourself, you don't need to do that because you're a perfect being, no matter what you do, you're perfect. Because you're just right there in your evolutionary stage, uh, you're doing quite well, you know. Don't don't you don't need to criticize yourself so hard. So another thing is productivity, it's a similar thing, productivity. Uh, people blame themselves for not being as productive as they wanted to be in their work, may mostly work and study. So, there's no reason for that anymore. You can notice these patterns and release them. Because your soul is love, everything you do is love. Uh, there's no reason for being yourself beating on yourself alright so another thing that happens is that when we get bad feelings we tend to criticize ourselves or feel bad about it because we shouldn't be feeling this and this, there's something wrong but your feelings are just signals are just uh, they, they lead us towards the best path so if you're feeling bad throughout the day that's because it's not that aligned with your soul's purpose for this day so you gotta whenever you feel a negative feeling you you need to pause and think what does my soul think about this moment right now how can I better handle this situation what perspective what point of view can I have that is more like a bird's eye view uh, there's more yeah, there's a word for that, so, but I forgot. Oh, overview, yeah. The the top of the mountain. Your your soul is at to on the top of the mountain and knows what's best for you. So, whenever you feel down, you you just pause what you're doing and consider what is the best possible perspective for this issue. So another thing that people commonly blame themselves for is about making mistakes, especially when in public. So most people deny themselves the part of them that makes mistakes. They think there's something wrong with that. In my videos, I, I make many mistakes, huge mistakes. But I don't stop shooting videos just because of the possibility of making mistakes, you know. You gotta rise above that and think that when I, in whatever way you make a mistake, like a, a test, a college test, or or in music, in a musical performance, or in an artistic performance such as writing, you we are humans. We make mistakes, but it's not actually a mistake. It's just. Uh, what happened, you know, it's completely acceptable, we never make mistakes, it's just a, an experience, you know, we have, we have learned from that, so there, there's always something to gain from, from mistakes, so-called mistakes, and, yeah, this is all I had for this video, let me see if I have something else to say, uh, Oh, if you want people to treat you gently and respect you, you need to treat you gently as well, if you want the reflection from other people. 
So the more you are gentle towards yourself, you don't criticize, you, you, you are good with yourself, the more people that sh share this quality of non-judgmentalism, of freedom, of allowing, allowing whatever it is to be what it, what it is, more people, interesting people will come your way by the law of the attraction, you know? So if you constantly depreci depreciate yourself, you you criticize yourself, you're gonna uh, attract people who don't value you, who, who criticize you just as much as you do to yourself, and you're gonna create a whole pattern of relationships they are not fruitful, not the best one that you could get. It's still an experience, you know, you're gonna get. But if you want the optimal scenario, you 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 ought to do it, uh, treat yourself gently, you know. Just go with the flow. If do something doesn't go right, just take a walk, visit a friend, have a meal. So. If so that next time when you come back and try to do the work, you're gonna be more inspired, more light, lighter, you're gonna feel better, you know, so that the best kind of work can be done. So let me see if something comes through. Uh, yeah, this is all about the way you treat yourself. You get a, a reflection in the mirror because in a physical universe, it's a reflection of what you have inside. So if you treat you yourself, uh, if you treat yourself in a good way, you're gonna reap the benefits of it by the the, the situations, the things that are coming for you, the events and all that. All right. So I guess I'm gonna finish this video right here. And if you want more details and more strategies for raising your vibration, reprogramming your mind, I highly encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Uh, the first one is for free, uh, 15 minutes for free, to see if you're a good fit. And let me know. Just send a message to my Instagram page. It's going to be linked in the description below. And we'll work that out, all right? See you guys, I must say.